What's going on YouTube? Long time no see. Behind me is an 88 Bronco 2 and this is our new our new truck. Let's take a look at it. So like I was saying, this is an 88 Bronco 2 with the 2.9 V6 in it. And the reason I got this is because I'm getting my license back in October. I need something to drive in the uh, winter and daily drive. This is going to be it. So the truck probably won't be done by the time I get my license back because I don't think I, the guy said I won't get the engine back to October. And I don't really want to drive that in the salt. The Mustang's probably ain't good in the winter. And the Eclipse is crap right now. We'll talk about all those cars a little bit later. We're not giving up on some of them. We just got some stuff going on. And I needed to get me a daily. That was my main concern. So this is what we got. We went three hours yesterday to pick this up. I'm thankful we had a trailer at home. Uh, it's a five speed, four wheel drive on the floor. Yes, it's dirty. We got fender flares back here because they cut the fenders. That's one of the things I hate about it. I wish they would just left the fenders alone, but can't be picky. Uh, we got a uh, nice grill in here, new back bumper, new gas tank, and either he put new fuel pumps in it or there should be fuel pumps in the truck, hopefully. But uh, yeah, it starts on starting fluid, but it won't stay running uh, very long. So hopefully we can figure that out today and go from there. I'm going to try to fix it for as cheap as I can, make it safe and reliable and just drive it pretty much. Uh, I creased the hood. I'm pretty sure I did this. So that kind of sucks, but we can either put a piece of metal here, uncrease it, put a piece of metal here, keep it good, or uh, get a new hood. Now, he started sanding it, so leave in the comments below if I should spray paint it or if I should do a quick single-stage paint job with uh, a paint gun. Let me know. Not trying to spend too much time on cosmetic stuff, but would like to make it look a little bit decent. And then uh, just mechanically, just want it to drive around, so that's what I need it for. I've always wanted one of these, to be honest, and I think it's it's really awesome. I finally got one. So, let's take a look underneath of it. This ain't too bad. Uh, just the, where the fenders are cut, the rocker seems to be all there. The floorboards are pretty clean. There's a little rot right there, but I don't think that's even through yet. Same on the other side. On the body, this is about the worst of it down here, which is probably fixable. Where this tail light is not too bad though and then has new tail lights i got the other one in the truck there was a little bit of rust down here in this rocker but that's that rocker is good and that floor pan's good even the body mounts are good on it so i think we got a solid uh solid thing that we could fix into a daily here let's go ahead i'm gonna clean up these turnables real fast throw a battery in it crank it over uh, the battery was kind of dead yesterday when we were jumping it. I'm going to see what happens when it's cranking faster. Uh, I already checked the oil. There is some oil in it. But if we get it running good and everything, we'll change all the fluids, hopefully. Go from there. Probably wind up putting new brakes and stuff on it. Just all the maintenance stuff to try to make it safe and reliable. But, yep. Let's go ahead and clean those terminals up. I've had this battery on this battery save mode all night. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I saved it. I don't really want to buy a new one. And go from there. So we got a battery in it. Uh, we got it charging. I did check a few things. As you guys can see, I got some tools out, some wires out uh, off camera. Uh, I'm getting spark. I'm getting fuel. I was getting 40, 40 to 45 pounds off the fuel wheel. And it wasn't dropping. I had it on there for a long time, actually. So I don't know why it's not cranking up. I'm thinking the injectors aren't firing or something. But I'll show you guys how it cranks. See, it cranks good so for now i'm just going to clean it out and then look into it a little more and we might test some things but let's get this interior clean get everything dragged out of it see what we got in it and uh organize everything in the garage maybe sweep it out just get this stuff cleaned up and then we can work on it more uh start fresh tomorrow i might take some tires hopefully i got some in the back get some tires put onto those rims that way we can roll around on those and hopefully it's running here soon but yeah so let's get all this stuff cleaned out. We got a gas, gas tank chain in here, some fender flares, and I don't know if there's anything else back there or not. And then see if we can't sweep this thing out. So we finally got it finished cleaning up. 
Uh, it's not perfect yet. Probably wind up taking the carpet out one day, power washing it, whatnot. Found the jack under that towel, kind of scared the crap out of me in that compartment. Still got to get back there better, but a lot better than what it is. Uh, looks a lot cleaner. So we'll just keep cleaning it and going from there, and hopefully it gets cleaned uh, cleaned one day. Now this, I got to ask you guys, uh, what should I do about this? How do I fill this gap in? Do I just crimple the, uh, crimp this metal up to each other and like fold it around? Uh, what should I do here? Let me know in the comments below if you guys got any ideas. Uh, I'd like to get those flares on soon, but I don't want snow and salt getting in there. And obviously, I should probably spray and undercoat all that and put oil on it before I crimp it. But anyway, now that we got that cleaned up, uh, I still haven't been able to get it to run yet, which that'll be in other videos I'll make of trying to get it to run, so stay tuned from that. I did find out the distributor cap and rotor I'm gonna get a new one tomorrow because this was broke. Maybe that's why it's not running. So it was getting spiked, but I don't know if this was wiggling around and it wasn't spiking at the right time or what. But hopefully that'll work out. Look out for that video. I'll start filming that tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's see if we can't get uh, some tail lights to work in this thing. This bulb needs to come out of there. And uh, this one does work. It turns on and everything. That one has nothing. Let's see if we can't get uh, all this stuff to work on this side. So, this thing kind of broke already. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can't get it out with some pliers. Hopefully. Probably just gonna destroy itself. There we go. That one's out. See if we can't put this bulb in there and get something to work. I don't know if it needs a, uh, this one's like, does two things. These ones only do one thing. Hopefully this bulb's good. See what happens. See if that comes on real quick. This one's on, but that one's not on. Don't even know if that bulb's good, to be honest. Okay, so back to work on these tail lights. I kind of got confused there for a second. Uh, that one's working. We still haven't got the reverse ones to work on either side. Uh, I did figure out these ones work. If I connect these two, that was broken. To get, uh, They were broken. And then uh, this one, this right here is working. But this one is not. But this yellow wire, if I connect it to this yellow wire that was taken out, then those work. So, I want to look into that a little more, if I should connect them like that or not. But I think I should. And then I just got to figure out the reverse lights. So I'm going to heat shrink all that, get all that to work, and then uh, go from there with the reverse lights. And then the front up here, this, uh, this one was not working. But I just need a new bulb. I just throw that back together now. And then all these work. We got some nice blue lights in it. I don't know if I like those. Probably I end up changing those. And then this side micro is working too. So pretty much we got all lights except reverse lights. Even the dome lights work in this thing. Which is kind of cool. Both front and back. So that's awesome. And the dash lights. So let's get this stuff heat shrinked together. Taped up. And uh, go from there. Putting the tail lights in right now. We got that one. That side in. If you want to take a look at that looking pretty good we got everything to work but the reverse lights you think that'd be okay yeah hopefully uh i think i have to get it inspected because the title was from a different state hopefully they don't bug me on that because i i don't care about the reverse lights but hopefully they, they don't is what i'm trying to say right yeah so these are brand new tail lights too he gave us we bought it dropped one of the bolts let me go ahead and get these screwed in turn the lights on both of those turn on turn the uh, right blink on that's working left blinker uh and then brakes 
So we got everything working. Do that white blinker again. Nice. And then I think I already, I don't know if I already set it up or not. Uh, just got to get a bulb in that one. I already told you guys. So now we got all the lights like except the reverse lights. So I'm happy with that. Let's go over the Bronco a little bit more. We got all the lights working. Uh, I talked to a few people. It should pass inspection just fine, kind of the way it is. My one friend said he took a hood exit. Uh, it had a hood exit on it, a uh, jetto thing, one of those turbo jetto things, and they passed him. I'm charging the battery right now. Uh, you guys will see in a, the next video. I don't know why that's not moving. Oh, yeah, 12.7. You guys will see in the next video. We did get it to run. It does move. It does drive. So look forward to that video. It needs an alternator, so we still have some plenty of plenty of work to do to uh, fine tune it. It runs a little rough. This manifold's leaking. Let's just go over it. I want to change this manifold, but I don't. I might wait, wait it out and see uh, if I can't do it next year or something and drive it the way it is. If not, we're gonna have to change it. It's leaking bad, and to change that, I might wind up pulling the engine out uh, just because it's easier for me. And I won't be crammed in there to do it. And if we pull the engine out, we'll do the rear mains too. Put a new clutch in it. And valve cover gaskets, stuff like that. Just simple stuff. And then we don't got to worry about any of that stuff. And it's kind of cheap to do all that. And it's just time consuming. To be honest, the most expensive thing that I just probably said was the clutch. And then buying the manifolds. Uh, and hopefully we can draw those bolts out just fine. Because those things are roached. <laughs> but yeah. It's pretty clean. I hate how they cut the fenders. I don't know how much they cut of this. I know they cut this plastic stuff. I don't know if there's metal in here or not that they cut out. Uh, we'll do something about it. We'll definitely undercoat it and stuff like that. One day I would like to pull the carpet out and uh, power wash that like I was saying. Maybe do a little bit of... Uh, there's a couple holes in the floorboard up there. And that that's about it. And maybe patch those and put some paint on it. So that way we don't got leaks. Like I've showed you guys before, these floorboards are pretty good. The trunk board's pretty good. The frame's good. Uh, so main goal with it now is just to get the run as smooth as I can for as cheap as I can. And then do brakes and uh, front and back brakes. Make sure all the ball joints, tie rods, if any of that needs to be placed, we'll place those now because I will be driving this. So if I have to go three hours away and it's snowing out, I will, I'll take this thing. If I have to go to work every day, I'm going to probably take this thing. So we just got to make sure it's safe. Kind of like any car, though. Uh, need some tires for it eventually. All kinds of stuff, but nothing major. We'll just keep working on it, fixing that up. We got four months to get my license back, and we got to have it done by then, I'm hoping. And we'll be good to go. Our main concern is getting the truck and the Mustang done. Like I keep uh, saying, we got to supercharge the Mustang, and I'd like to just get that engine back in October for the truck and hear that thing run finally. Uh, yeah. Give me a like, comment, subscribe, look forward to other videos. You guys will see a video of it running and driving here soon and what we had to do to get it running and driving and then go from there. I'll get this alternator today and keep working on it, hopefully with the new alternator on it and we might put a timing light on it to mess with the distributor a little more. Uh, it'll run smoother today. But take it easy, give me a like, comment, subscribe. See you guys for the next one.